Hello and welcome to a very special How I Paint Things. Now what I'm going to show you today is not so much a straight up tutorial as a live test. Now a few questions have come up about marine juice and uh, that's one I always get a kick out of saying in that tone. Uh, the idea here is that I'm going to mix it up using Army Painter paints because, as I'll mention later, they're a bit cheaper and they tend to be pretty easy to get your hands on. So wherever you can pick up Citadel outside of a games workshop, you're likely to find Army Painter paints alongside. And if you're looking to save some pennies, well, why not? Here is how I've got the Marine Juice recipe adapted for Army Painter. Now the fellow that's whizzing around at the moment, he is just dry brushed. Uh, everything that you see is either speed paint or dry brush and a wash, and that's it. Now he's not the fanciest dude going, I mean, miniature aside, but the end result is still something I'd more than happily put on the table. So I just thought it would be fun to show you something that doesn't need to be perfect to be, yeah, pretty cool. So the mix for the wash will be in the description below. Let's get started. So you folks watching at home actually have an advantage in that you've seen the finished product where I'm still experimenting a little here so I don't know 100% whether or not it's going to work right by the time it reaches what you've seen in the intro. Fingers crossed for me. Um, hopefully this should all work out the way I'd like. Now I've started from a white primer because of course and the reason why he is so obnoxiously bright the sort of Saturday morning cartoon look is that I wanted to put as many different colors on here as I could. Uh, ordinarily, I like quite bright colors and then to shade them down. So that's what I'm going to do using this uh, alteration, this variation on marine juice, because I want to make sure if you're using pretty much any brand you can get your hands on, it's going to give you a fairly similar result. So white and oh my goodness, that is a lot of color. Now also worth pointing out is that everything you see is speed paints, including the metallics. Uh, now I tend to see that these do work a little bit better on the larger areas. For smaller bits, uh, I think I prefer the, the control that a regular acrylic would give, but I was quite surprised at the finish. I think these are going to look a little bit better under a wash, but as far as a one coat solution to putting some metallics on something, they're not too bad. I quite like that. Uh, they're not likely to replace my usual metallic choices, but if you were to pick some up, you know, you want to give them a shot, I don't think they're all that bad, particularly if you're looking to do something very quickly. Anyhow, let's get on to mixing up our Army Painter Marine Juice. So we start off with this battered little bottle as an introduction. Marine Juice has its roots in an old Army Painting method from Forge World. Now, there have been a couple of paint line changes since it was introduced, and I've tried to keep up because I've always found this extremely useful. I use it on all sorts of things, anything which is nice and light, from Napoleonic infantry all the way through to Space Marines, where originally it gets its name from. But uh, there's no denying that the prices of some of these things have really started to tick up in recent years, so looking for a cheaper alternative is not necessarily a bad idea. Now folks ask quite regularly if it's possible to use uh, other mediums like Liquitex or what have you. Short answer is probably, but <laughs> I would recommend experimenting on, you know, something small that you don't mind messing up and not turning out quite like you'd planned. That's the whole point of experimenting, but what I'm going to show you works, I hope. So we're going to start with Dark Tone. Now the mix that I'm going to show you is equal parts of all three of these ingredients. So four drops, five drops, 20 drops, whatever it is, it's the same for all three. So theoretically, you could just grab a bottle of each of what I'm gonna show you and chuck it into one big container. But let's mix it out onto the palette here. So dark tone, and then we're gonna use one which you might not have seen. Now, mid brown is one of the army painter washes, as you can see, but funnily enough, it is closer to Reichland flesh shade than the army painter flesh wash is. So when I've been trying to mix up um, Army Painter Marine Juice by following the Citadel mix, it hasn't worked because I was using the wrong color. But Mid Brown does the trick. So I'm now going to add equal parts of this. And then finally, Speed Paint Medium. Now this is quite different to the Quick Shade mixing medium that you get from the Army Painter, because the Quick Shade medium is kind of gloopy. 
Whereas the speed paint medium, it is a little closer to Lamian medium or contrast medium in how it flows. And that's really what I want. I want to break this surface tension up so that it will flow into recesses more easily and it won't be quite so sticky as it would be with the quick shade medium. So I've added five drops of the other two already. So five drops of this. Now, if you are mixing up bottles of this, then you know that the mix is going to be one part of each. The droplets from the speed paint medium tend to be a little bit smaller. Uh, they come out of the bottle a bit faster. So I'm just going to add one, two more, just to make sure that the mix is a little closer to accurate. Now mix it up thoroughly and you'll see in the palette there that it's a little bit warmer than uh, Agrax Earthshade or similar would be, but not quite as dark. So let's go ahead. Fingers crossed. Applying this is a bit of a trick. You want to have quite a bit on your brush and apply what will seem like too much at first. Then start shifting it around with your brush, not giving it time to dry in any one place. Now it'll look quite intense going on, uh, but after a couple of seconds, as it settles, you'll see it smooths out. Now after he's had plenty of time to dry, you'll have something that looks like this. Now there are one or two little mistakes that I've made during this process, which I've only just realized, but I'll point them out so that you can avoid them yourself. There are a few tiny wee spots where the wash mix that I've made has sort of peeled back a little bit. You'll see up on the shoulder pad here, um, and it hasn't covered properly because the properties of it don't cling to the primer in quite the way I'd like. The problem there is I've painted straight over the top of the primer. Now for the speed paints, that's not a problem. That's what they're designed to do. But we did mess with the properties of that wash mix quite a bit. If I wanted to avoid that in the future, all I'd need to do would be to grab myself some white from the pot and just put a quick layer of that over the top of the primed miniature, and then won't be a problem. You could also just try a gloss varnish over the top of everything that you're going to shade, then shade it, then matte varnish it afterwards. The effect is not really all that diminished, to be honest. It's still come out quite well, but just something to be aware of. What I am going to do now, though, is grab myself a little dry brush and uh, try and flick along some of the white edges just to brighten them up a bit. I prefer a dull finish to my white armor, something that isn't pristine, because if it is just white, there's not an awful lot that you can do to sort of bring it back up and highlight it. This is a very quick method. It's not the nicest looking out there, but it works. So let's grab that dry brush. So nothing spectacularly fancy here, still using Army Painters White and one of those little wedge tip dry brushes that I quite like. I'm just going to catch along some of the edges quite quickly to brighten those up. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing with a couple of other colors. Um, I'm going to skip over this bit a little because it doesn't matter too much for the purposes of, hey, this is how the juice works. Uh, but I do want to show you the finished product so that, you know, just a little bit of extra work and uh, there's some other examples on the channel already. So let's do that gold, that silver, and I'll dry brush the base as well. And so there we have it. I would say successful test. Although I probably didn't need to dry brush the braiding on his chest quite as much as I did. Oh well, the end result is still something I'd more than happily put on the table. Just remember that if you are going to apply any transfers, to put them on before you varnish the miniature. And whether you are using contrast, speed paint, or express from whichever range, make sure you do varnish your miniatures once you've finished. Because these one coat paints, they aren't quite as durable. They won't hold up to handling as well as an ordinary acrylic will. So bear that in mind. Grab yourself a varnish that you like. Um, I've used here Munitorum Varnish from Citadel. But I am also aware that the Army Painter also now does a satin varnish. I just like satin on Space Marines. I think they ought to look a little bit shiny. Anyhow, lots of learning opportunities this time, and it was a bit of fun. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed painting him. I know he's not going to go in one of my armies, but I'm really pleased with having done him. It was a lot of fun to just crack out some paints and play around. So I urge you, if you've got some miniatures hanging around on your table, grab some paints. Go nuts, and just enjoy the process. So as always, thank you very much to Exit23Games for the light and sound equipment, 
as well as all of my wonderful patrons who are keeping me ticking in paints and glue, including my gorgeous producers who are showing up on screen now. Thank you very much, folks. Your support keeps this channel ticking. Now, any questions or anything, feel free to drop them in the old comment box below. My Twitter and Instagram are both linked there too. Although, you're slightly more likely to get hold of me on Instagram if you do want to, because Twitter, man, it hides messages. <laughs> Trying to get your hands. Anyhow. Anyhow. Like I said, hopefully something there was interesting to you folks. Thank you very much for your time, and you all enjoy the rest of your day.